Hey everyone, welcome back to this new video uploading here on the channel of Games Home Life. And in today's video, I have a very exciting one for you. This one is basically how to save adversary mode outfits working off the latest patch of 1.46. Now, um, this is a brand new method. I want to give a huge shout out to my friends, his channel, EM Glitch, who actually found this glitch. Check out his channel in the link in the description down below. Out. And then we get straight into this video. So, like I said, this is an exciting video, the safe adversary mode outfits. This is working for both male and female character. It's really easy to do. So yeah, let's just go straight into this tutorial. Okay, so to start off, you just want to go into a public online session with any of the characters that you have, where you want your adversary mode outfits on. So basically, um, you want to host up the adversary mode mission that you want. So make sure that if you go to the options that your matchmaking is set to closed. So if you set it to closed, you can now go over to the adversary mode that you want. And you can just simply just launch it up from there. Now, I recommend you to do this with a friend. You can also do this with random players, but at least one player must hit replay after finishing the job. I will explain that furthermore. But on the setting screen, make sure you set number of teams to two or four. If you're doing this with drop zone, for example, make sure you set it to four to get all the color joggers that you want. And just set it to one round. So it's over by the quickest time. So if you set it to one round, invite some players and just launch the adversary mode up of your choice. So if you are here inside of your adversary mode, then from this point you just have to open up your PlayStation Home menu. And I do have to say this only works on PlayStation 4. But you have to find the recent activity from the user right here in the screen. He has a lot of playlists that he has played. So go to this profile on your PlayStation menu. Just go over to uh, the recent activities and just find any of his recent activities which says that he played a playlist. So just grab one of those and just hover over join playlist, alright? Then you want to double tap your PlayStation Home button and come back over to the game. So in the meantime you've loaded inside of the adversary mode of your choice. You just want to finish this adversary mode. That's all you have to do. So I'm just going to be finishing it and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So as you can see right here, I have finished the adversary mode. You will now see that you get some money and your ranking will go up. Everything uh, like you see here on the screen must go away before you go into the steps. Now, on this screen right here where you're going to be pressing like, you just want to hit like and wait for everyone to like, like or dislike or no vote the job. And once you're on this screen right here, you want to make sure that at least someone hits replay. So if you're doing this with your friends, make sure that he hits replay. And you just want to um, click on any random job that you saw. Not on replay, just any random one. So my friend will be hitting replay. I will be hitting a random job. And as soon as you do that, you should see that in the bottom right corner, the um, counting down will go away. So as soon as you see that this screen goes away, you want to double tap your PlayStation Home button. You want to hit join playlist and then you will be returning back to the game. Now do this again, double tap, join playlist, double tap, join playlist, double tap, join playlist, etc, etc. You just want to keep doing this until you, in the end, just go over right here. Now you will be spawning here at this plaza and you should see that you should be wearing that outfit from the adversary mode outfits job. If you did this multiple times and long enough, you should see that you've hit it. Now your character should spawn away, you should get an alert message, you want to hit cancel on this alert message and then you will be frozen. So from this point you want to hit pause, you want to go to online and you want to go to the criminal enterprise starter pack and hit X. Now on the screen right here you just simply want to back out and then you should see that you can walk around with your character and it is wearing the outfit. Now from this point you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style accessories and just put on some gloves or just put on a um, like if you have like colored bulletproof helmets do not put on a rebreather of course but I suggest you to just change the gloves once so that something is changed on the outfit and make sure that it sticks. So if you've changed anything on the outfit from this point on you can now press pause. 
you can go to the online tab and you can go straight over to creator. Now inside creator, you just want to um, go over to the following option. You just want to go over to exit to GTA online. So now you will be loading in a new GTA 5 online session and you should now notice that you are wearing that outfit from the adversary mode job. And you know, with the gloves change it just like you did. And all you have to do from this point on is just go over to the nearest clothes store and save this outfit. So this is a quick and easy tutorial on how to save adversary mode outfits. This will get patched soon, I think. So please take advantage of this and do this as quick as you can and as multiple times as you want and just save the, all the outfits that you want. With this method, it's possible to get the colored joggers and the colored helmets, everything back again. So do this quick. I hope this guy, this tutorial helped you guys out. I'm so glad that it's back. Leave a like if it worked for you. Please feel free to leave any questions down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel of Game Time Life for more glitches and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest videos uploading here. And I hope to see you back in the next video, of course. Bye everyone!